Hello, hello, hello. I am making alligator tacos. <laughs> so I'm doing a couple things. I thought I'd turn on the camera, why not? So one of the things is I'm um, making some guacamole. <laughs> Sorry, that joke's getting old, I know it. Anyway, I've got some avocado. Mm, I put a little salt on top. This is one large avocado. And a little Mexican oregano. I'm going to smash my avocado. Not too much. Don't overwork it. You still want it to be chunky. You don't want it to look like that stuff you get in the grocery store, right? Right. I'm just trying to get the big pieces. And then I have a base. I made it a couple days ago, so I don't really need to make it anymore. But it's cilantro, serrano, um, onion, mm, and lime, lots of lime. Okay, might as well just use the rest of that and make some more of this. Um, thank you, Aaron Sanchez, celebrity chef, who posted the, this guacamole recipe. It's delicious. It's a little different than what I was doing. I also add a little mm, garlic powder to mine. So I'm not very organized today, but that's okay. Anyway, um, because I love, I'm gonna take a little of my tomato. That I, this is for my salsa, just to take a few pieces of that. There we go. And I have some freshly cracked black pepper that actually blend up in my little coffee thing grinder. And I, when I grind it, I put a little cayenne in there because I like everything hot. Mm. I've got a jalapeno. I'm so crazy. I use my, I love this thing. This is um, my grater. I use it for my garlic and now I use it for jalapenos too. Um. Just make sure when you start to get down to the seeds, you're careful on how hot you like your stuff. Because, uh, yeah, you know, you don't want it to hurt you, right? Yeah. So I'm going to take a few out. Tap, 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 tap. Let them fall. Okay. In my... Um, little pica de gallo. I've got some freshly chopped, everything fresh from the garden or from the store is some purple onion. I've got some tomatoes. I've got lots of cilantro, um, salt, pepper. I need a lime. Excuse me. Where did she go? Hello. <laughs> All right. Lime juice. Mmm. Yeah. There you go. Stir that up. Leave it alone. Let it sit. Beautiful colors. Beautiful everything. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Mm -hmm. A little more salt. Taste your food. It'll tell you when it's ready. Mmm. Yum. Very good. Okay. That stuff's done. Mmm. I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to go get the alligator. Mmm. Oh. Okie dokie. I'm back. Alligator. Been sitting in a little buttermilk that had a little salt, pepper, and hot sauce. And that sat for three hours in the refrigerator. And then I took it out. I drained out the, um, the buttermilk. I put it in a bowl. I added a little olive oil just this minute, just a little bit, and I'm taking my, this is my chicken seasoning that um, I've done videos on, so you got to go back and look at it. Um, this stuff is golden, yeah? And like it works with everything, so much more than just chicken. I like it a lot. Um, okay, whoops, add a little salt and some freshly cracked back cap. Bar. All right. I've got a pan behind me that's heated up nice and hot. And we're just going to put our alligator. There you go. Can you hear it? You want that? You want the sizzle? 
You don't hear that? It wasn't hot enough. And what I'll do is I'll just cut up a few pieces and leave the rest for another meal. That's all. And then, um, yeah, let's let this go and we'll be back in a minute. Hello, Foki. <laughs> Okie dokie, Foki. I've got my Mr. Tortilla, one gram, one net carb. I've um, put a little oil in the pan, pan fried them up just for 30 seconds on each side to make them nice and pliable. Um, taking the extra oil off, pat, pat, pat. All right. Alligator taco. Alligator. Do you see it? Beautifully browned, yummy, little alligator fillets um you know this stuff's really good fried up but i don't eat fried food not very often very rare anyway i'm gonna slice this up into strips mmm let's taste it oh my god oh oh my god <laughs> it's it's good it's so good mmm it tastes like chicken, but you know, my chicken spice really makes everything. I'm squeezing a little fresh lime on top because I love, I love to squeeze fresh lime on top of chicken. So I know it's going to be good on that alligator too. Mm. And a little salt on my tortillas and on my alligator. Bam. I've got my guacamole. <laughs> Pica de gallo from the garden. Let's build this. A couple strips of my alligator on top of my Mr. Tortilla. Now this is the Chili's version. Um, they're kind of small, but you know, it's like, that's probably why they're only one gram carb. <laughs> right? God, these are gonna be good. Look, wham. Wham de dam dam dams. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Those are good. Mm. Man. Mm. Guys, alligator tacos. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Mm. 